part of the magic of gardening. Here's the other thing that's part of the magic of gardening is you have an opportunity to be able to give back. And I was telling Stephanie, we had an opportunity to work with um, our garden buyers and the garden team that are phenomenal here at QVC who work along with the Walleen family. And we were talking about um, the surge of gardeners and first time gardeners who are getting into what I'm gonna try this year, the bee house, the fabulous bird house, but there's something else we could be doing and making a difference. And that is by creating a home for the monarch butterflies. This is Roberta's four piece milkweed butterfly bouquet live plant. You're going to get for the very first time one in orange, one in pink. Those, that's obviously the white, one in yellow. So there'll be four different colors. The plants come in about a two and a half inch pot for you and they're perennials. So the first year you'll have some and then each year they come back and they get better and better. These were just launched January 31st of this year and all of our plants and gardening all of our plants and gardening, I should say correctly, has free shipping and handling. All right, Miss Stephanie. So if we wanted to have that butterfly garden or we wanted to do more, like I'm gonna try with my little bee house this year and my birdhouse along with it, we could give more and give back to nature and sort of help them and with the Absolutely. butterflies. Absolutely, Pat, you know, this is, milkweed, otherwise known as Asclepius, and it is truly the host plant for our monarch butterflies. And, you know, we've been bringing this um, plant to QVC for a few years now, and you at home, you have really stepped up and helped us because, you know, every year we go online and we're like, okay, well, where's the population at? And I will say, Pat, that things are slowly getting better. They're still, you know, the numbers are still dire, but they are improving and there's definitely hope. So thank you all for everybody who, um, has been growing this. And if you don't already have Asclepius, I would highly recommend picking it up because by planting this, whether you live in a townhouse like I do here in Pennsylvania, or you have a big estate with a lot of land, we can all do our part in, in literally saving the monarch butterfly population. And Stephanie, what you and your family did was you went out and searched like you do for everything around the world, but you search for something that's beautiful and also, if you will, functional because it will attract totally. the monarch butterfly as well as other butterflies. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. You know, Asclepius, there are native Asclepius plants around. Um, the monarch butterflies don't really care how they look, but for us, they're not that sightly. They grow about five to seven feet tall and the flowers, it's kind of like a muddy pink. So these um, hybrid Asclepius or milkweed that we're bringing to this collection, the butterfly bouquet collection, um, they have been bred to still, you know, give a feast for our monarch butterflies and for our other pollinators, but then also be a feast for our eyes because they're truly beautiful plants, as you see here on the right. That's the gorgeous tuberosa orange. So these are only going to grow to about three to four feet um, tall and wide once they're fully grown. And that's a swallowtail, obviously that wasn't a monarch. So this is going to attract all sorts of pollinators. But the, the point of Asclepius really is, Pat, to help ensure that the monarch butterflies have a safe place to go and lay their eggs. And once those eggs hatch and they turn into those beautiful caterpillars, these are the leaves that the caterpillars are going to eat. And then eventually they will turn into the chrysalis and emerge into the gorgeous butterfly. But without the Asclepius, the monarch butterflies have nowhere to land to lay those eggs and then no food for their caterpillars. So really, absolutely every single one of us in the country, um, I truly believe should be planting this Asclepius. As you see here on the left, Pat, really quick, that's the monarch butterfly caterpillar. It's really cute. I know sometimes when we see bugs on our plants, we kind of freak out. But if you see <laughs> that, that striped caterpillar, <laughs> leave him be. That's my personal plant in California. Oh, um, cool. He was super happy. He was among a hundred other friends. I had so many monarch butterflies this summer. It was amazing. Really? Um, I didn't actually have enough plants, so I'm going to be planting more because I, I will tell you, if you have Asclepius, I promise you the monarchs will find it. They really have their way of, you know, honing mm -hmm. in on these plants because it is truly their home and um, they know that they need it. So talk to me about what I'm going to get and yes. where I should plant this, what it needs. Totally. So this is one of four plants that you will be receiving. They will all you know, be the same size, but you will be getting four different colors, which is a first for us this year. So you'll be getting the orange, the yellow, pink, and white. So once you get this at home, what I have next to me is all four in one container. And this is probably just the first season. So you're going to get these really large, beautiful flower umbels 
that again, like I said, they're beautiful for us. The monarchs really couldn't care less about the flowers, but this is best of both worlds. We're getting a treat and so are they. So pick up a couple collections, Pat, and plant some in your containers and put them like around your decks and your patios. So when you're out having your summer barbecues, you can cool. see literally the pollinators and the butterflies coming and enjoying themselves. And then if you have the space, maybe just throw some out. My uncle Court puts them out like really far out in the yard and he says that's just for them to enjoy, you know, because <laughs> after all it is for them as well. So um, if you can pick up a couple collections, you will not regret it and neither the butterflies will thank you. This, it's such a cool project when you think about it. Stephanie, you grew up in a family that obviously fourth generation traveled mm -hmm. the world. And you know everything there is to know about these plants and more. Um, I grew up with a dad who, you know, we had a garden growing up. I remember his tomato plants. And, and you know, I raised my daughter with my attempt at gardening, and I was so proud of her when she had her first apartment that she could, she plant, she planted a tomato plant. Oh, and, awesome. You know, flowers, and I just think, think it's something so marvelous that you could do with your kids and your grandkids, Absolutely. the kids in the neighborhood. It just takes us out of our little world. And, and, you know, we're talking so much. Totally. We're finally having that conversation, I think, of, of anxiety and depression in this country. And, and uh, unfortunately, it's not going to cure anything. But for a lot of us, it's our respite. For a lot of us, oh, it's yeah, our it's way to escape. Nature. Right? And it's that, that feeling that you get when you nurture something and then to see butterflies come to it. How magnificent Absolutely. would that be? Absolutely, Pat. And you know our dear friend, Sandra Bennett, um, she grew this Asclepius in her home last year. And I, she, she showed me the videos of, you know, them getting the caterpillars and going through the chrysalis and emerging into oh, the butterfly. Cool. And she experienced that with her two daughters. And mm -hmm. it really warmed my heart because it is, you know, you're learning how to grow something, but then you're also really bringing something to life by allowing these monarch butterflies to have a home and watching them, you know, their population slowly come back to, to where it used to be. So um, it is a really... I think probably the most important plant that we sell at Roberta's. I think everyone, if you can have, if you have the space, I would really recommend planting this. You will have no regrets. The monarch butterflies will come and grace your life, um, your kids' lives. You know, maybe send it to your grandkids so that they can have yes. a little bit of like a science summer mm -hmm. project, but not something that's like boring for school. This is like really exciting right. and beautiful and they get to, at the end of it, see these monarch butterflies. I think it opens up your eyes to a whole world. And, you know, to me, you're, you're, we're talking about kids and grandkids and maybe to the school if you could donate or, you know, my mom oh, was in memory idea. care for, you know, a while and, and, you know, they have, are allowed to go out into the gardens. So what a beautiful thing to be able to do um, if you can afford it, to be able to donate to a place like that so that the Absolutely. residents could enjoy that. I mean, there's so much that you give back when you have that garden, even someone walking totally. by. I mean, it just, it's, it's amazing. That's an awesome idea. Right? Yeah, and, and Pat, also I will say, just as far as plants are concerned, the Asclepius is super easy to grow because it is native to North America. So although this is a hybrid, mm -hmm. it's just hybridized so that it's you know more beautiful in our gardens, but it's still a super easy plant to care for. Just give it a lot of sun, water it every few days, and then you'll soon be graced with these adorable little caterpillars like you see on your screen right now. And those caterpillars, they're gonna eat the Asclepius leaves and eventually go into those chrysalis and then emerge into the butterflies. Could you imagine um, that? It's truly a special moment. I mean, you know it, you lived it. You know, and I also have read in the information that they um, they are deer resistant. Now that does not mean that deer won't munch right. on it. It you right. know, really depends on where you live and what the deer have access to and what they're hungry mm -hmm. for. I've learned that the hard way. But, right. um, you know, <laughs> totally. if it says resist deer, it'd be worth trying. I mean, you and I had Absolutely. that conversation, what I said, Stephanie. I think the what I learned early on when I when I started to try, try something. If it doesn't work, who cares? You know, then try totally. something different again next year. But what you do at Roberta's is you bring us hard to find and easy to grow. There's so much satisfaction. I cannot wait to get my calla lily bulbs at home. Because oh, the idea that you growing that yourself, there's so much satisfaction in that. And you'll find totally. others will share, you know, with yeah, it. You're absolutely. sharing with monarch butterflies and the other butterflies in the neighborhood. That's right. You're giving, you know, a home 
to the monarch and you're giving a little hotel and a bread and breakfast for all of your other yeah. pollinators, they will thank you just as much. Um, and it's true, Pat. I mean, I think sharing the love of plants and, and flowers with, with everybody at home, it's great. I love to do this with you, but also for you then to share it with the people that you love, you mm -hmm. know, invite your, your nieces and nephews, your grandkids over to experience this truly magical and very important plant. Um, you know, the monarch butterfly population, though it is slowly increasing, it is still in very dire straits, just for various reasons going on in the world right now. So by planting this, every single one of us, if we were to plant it, I mean, we would do a world of a difference. And we already have started, I will say, like we are doing good and the numbers are going up. So thank we you so much. We can make a difference.